What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix's new documentary series, Money Explained. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. A lot of documentary series out there claim to be helpful and informative. And I'm sure they are, I don't doubt that at all, but none rings truer than Money Explained. Watching this feels like getting an intense crash course on basic finances. You don't have to attend seminars or enroll in classes. What you get from there, you can get from here. Through these comprehensive, engaging, and easily digestible episodes. Most people have a complicated relationship with money. Anxious, reckless, avoidant, obsessive, and because it's taboo to talk about, we might not realize how normal we are. But Money Explained puts it all out in the open, the ways your credit card might be screwing you, how student loan becomes a crisis, why most of us won't be able to save enough for retirement, and how we get tricked into bad gambles and even worse scams. The series breaks down the weaknesses we all share when it comes to money, the devious ways they're exploited, and the best strategies out there to navigate it all. If I'm not mistaken, this docu is a co-production with Vox, which is a very famous digital media company. You may have seen their YouTube channel videos or their brief Twitter videos that are always well edited and designed to give you substantive tidbits within just a few minutes. So think of these episodes as sort of an extended version of what they usually or generally produce on the web. Same style, same vibrancy, only this time you get to dive deeper into the topics and they are eloquently narrated by some of your favorite actors. It's amazing what you can absorb from just a couple of these episodes, like the one about student debt, for example. Halfway through, you'd be saying, oh man, why didn't I think of that? I should have done that instead of this. Well, now you can see the warning signs a lot better thanks to Money Explain. It's those moments that this docu could pat itself in the back for a job well done. And everything you see and hear on this docu is fact-based. And it's delivered to you objectively. Not left-wing, not right-wing, but the reality of what's going on in the world in terms of money. The most important lesson to take away from all of this is that we have to be on top of things. This docu reveals the trick of the system, and it also encourages you to get political. Because even money has big picture problems that require big picture solutions. And if you ask me, honestly, this whole thing wouldn't have to come down to this if our government put a check on capitalism instead of letting it run amok. If regular folks have strong social safety nets with job security, universal health care, free tuition college, and they can put food on the table and roof over their heads for their families, then they wouldn't have to feel desperate to try to win that slot machine or rack up their credit card debt just to survive. Or they wouldn't be tempted to swindle or commit fraud or take advantage of their neighbors for a buck. So while this docu-series is, again, very helpful and very informative, but on the flip side of it, it's also a sad reminder of our current state of society. 